give a man a fish and you feed him for a day, teach him how to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. Let's get ready to make some money. Always do your own research. Trading is high risk. Trading and investing can result in a loss of capital. Alerts are fine. Scans are fine. But the reality of the matter is, no matter what criteria you use to run a scan or when you get an alert, that does not guarantee you're going to be able to use that alert and do a trade that's going to be successful. So keep in mind that this is not a perfect method for finding good trade opportunities, but it can definitely be helpful. The Thinkorswim platform by TD Ameritrade has a built-in scanner that I really like. Now, th this scanner is different from what many other brokerages have in that with this scanner, one can actually automatically create a watch list. And in addition, uh, one can have alerts that trigger whenever that watch list is updated. So, for instance, this top alert I got, this was when a hammer formed on the one hour chart. And so once that watch list got updated with new items, I got an alert that told me what those stocks actually were. And on this bottom one, uh, this is for AMC. Now I have a, uh, I, I have some scans I run on my actual watch list. I have others that I run on the entire stock market some that I run on just NASDAQ stocks, some that I run on just uh, NYSE stocks. This particular item that triggered for AMC was triggered on a watch list that I call trading. And in this particular case, this alert triggered because the five-day EMA broke below the nine-day EMA on the one-minute chart. And for me, that's a signal for me an early signal for me to take a look at AMC and consider going short. I don't necessarily act immediately once I see this alert, but when I see the alert, I start to consider what I'm going to do if I'm going to do anything on a particular security. And with at least with uh, Think or Swim, uh, AMC is hard to borrow, so I would consider potentially uh, doing a uh, long put spread, or buying put options to capitalize on the fact that AMC is going down. So I'm going to go over how I actually create scans and how I actually create alerts. And uh, this could be a very game-changing video for many people because they're going to be able to find a lot of opportunities that they otherwise would miss. There are price alerts that can actually be set up directly on the Thinkorswim mobile application. But to set up any type of dynamic alert based on a, a scan uh, that would use some type of study or uh, other criteria, anything that's a little more complex, you have to use the Thinkorswim desktop to do that, whether you're on a PC or on a Mac. And it starts with a scan simply by navigating to the Scan tab. And uh, this is the last scan I, I set up. I'm going to actually uh, wipe this out and start with a, a fresh screen. So I have a clean scan page here. It has a few criteria already listed. All the boxes are blank. I'm going to add a filter. I'm going to do a study uh, that, I, that, I, that I really like. And I'm going to adjust all these variables. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, with price. I want the last price to be ten dollars or greater. I'm going to go with a volume of. Uh, let me just go with one hundred fifty thousand. Then I'm going to go with the market capitalization. I type I typed M. And the second item in the drop down for M is market capitalization. I'm just going to put 50 for 50 million. And I am going to do a crossover study 
and I'm gonna go just clicking this it shows some studies that are set up you can also use custom studies a little more complex to do that but I'm gonna go with a moving average crossover I want this on the five minute chart so let's flip this uh, time frame to 5m for five minutes one of my favorite crossovers is when the nine day exponential moving average crosses above I'm sorry when the five day exponential moving average crosses above the nine day exponential moving average also like it when the nine day crosses above the 21 day and this gives me a potential heads up as to whether I want to look for a long opportunity uh, I actually have an alert triggered that triggers when this happens on the one minute chart but I generally don't enter unless I see this happen on the five minute chart so I'm running the scan and let's see what results we get and it took a while to run because I ran this across the entire stock market all symbols and it's showing 50 of 152 items I can have it show more if I want I'm just going to keep it at 50 I'm going to narrow this down because I don't trade every stock in the stock market I want to run this on some prospects I have a watch list called prospects these are prospects these are things that I trade periodically I don't trade them very often but if they meet certain criteria I will consider trading them so let me run this scan here and it's showing 11 of 11 results uh, I'm going to sort this by sizzle index this is uh, this is sizzle index is a criteria thinkorswim has uh, where it shows an increase in option trading activity versus what is traded in the past five days so let's take a look at ride on a five minute chart so on the five minute chart the five day EMA which is this white line broke above the nine day EMA and that's why it, it appears in this particular scan let's look at SQ five day EMA did break above the nine day EMA it, it did rise and it's pulling back but it hasn't crossed back over so it's still on this particular list now now that the scan has been created I can actually save this scan I can save it as a watch list if I save it as a watch list whenever the scan uh, updates updated items will appear on the watch list I can set an alert based on the result of this scan without creating a watch list and I will actually uh, get alerts based on on this particular scan I could save the scan query so I have it in the future I'm, just call, I'm gonna call it test test 5d cross 9 day EMA so the scan has been saved I'm gonna save it as a watch list also And then I can set an alert and get notifications directly on a mobile. I can get notifications if I set it directly only on my desktop application. So an alert has actually been set for this scan right now. Now I trade on three different monitors. I recommend anybody who's serious about trading have at least two monitors but that's an individual decision when I'm trading uh, things are moving really really quickly so I will hear a beep when I get a new alert however for it to be actionable and me to be able to you know 
have an opportunity to take a look at it, I want it actually visible on my screen and I want to scroll down and up and maybe see some previous alerts that triggered because sometimes I have uh, enough scans set where I'm getting lots of alerts. So one way for me to do this is in the upper corner in uh, the Thinkorswim desktop application. Message gadget can simply be detached and you can display it somewhere on your screen so you can review it. You can go scroll up and down and see previous alerts and make decisions on whether you want to trade based on those alerts. I've cleared my screen again and now I'm going to create another custom scan with a custom study. Now there's a study that I use a lot. Uh, the ATR trailing stop and I use a strategy where I will enter a trade long or short when the price breaks the ATR trailing stop to the upside I'll go long to the downside I'll go short I'll typically do this when uh, that happens on both the five minute chart and the 15 minute chart but if I'm more aggressive I'll do it just off of the five minute chart sometimes just off of the one minute chart I have some other YouTube videos that actually explain how I use this strategy but I'm going to show you how I set up this scan. I'm going to start here by adding a, a, a filter for a study. I'm going to change the parameters here. Let's make this 10 volume. Let's just make uh, 200,000 200, market cap. I'm going to make that 40 for 40 million. I'm going to change the time frame to, to five minutes and I'm going to make this uh, I don't I'm going to scan just a particular uh, watch list of mine prospects now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to edit this particular study it defaults to the first thing in uh, alphabetical order expand this box okay so I'm gonna make this price and I'm gonna select close close because I want it to be the closing price and in this case I'm gonna look for a long place so I'm gonna say crosses above now I'm gonna go to uh, the study I'm gonna find the study ATR trailing stop now I have some custom uh, parameters that I use. The, the, the base parameters in Thinkorswim are a little less aggressive than mine. I want mine to be a little more aggressive, so I'm going to go with my parameters. And I'm going to go to uh, exponential here. Move this up so you can see it. I'm going to hit save. Now I'm going to run this scan. Let me double check it. Has what I want. Let's see what comes up. Now let me take a look at a, a chart of one of these. Let's go to So this this alert would happen when the price of Baidu breaks above the ATR trailing stop on the five minute chart and a bar closes above the ATR trailing stop on the five minute chart. And I love this particular scan, but this is how you go ahead and create a custom scan. And obviously I, I can go ahead and I can take this, I can uh, save the scan query, I can also go ahead and I can create and save it as a watch list and I create an alert for it so I've created a, an alert that will cause this to go off whenever that condition gets triggered here go the items that I just ran the scan for appearing on a watch list that I created now what will happen is it's new items 
meet the criteria, they will be added to the watch list. And as, as items no longer meet the criteria, they will be removed from this watch list. So the watch lists are pretty cool in that if I don't want alerts, but I want to periodically just look at what meets a certain criteria, I can go to the watch list I created, or I can, if I save this as a scan, I can simply run the scan again and see what currently meets the criteria. So there's a lot of flexibility in how you can manage Thinkorswim uh, custom watch lists that are created based off of scans, uh, the scans that you create, and whether you want to receive alerts or not, and you can receive alerts on the desktop but not receive them on uh, your mobile phone. Uh, lots of different possibilities and that's one thing that is great. If you want to cancel an alert on the desktop application you navigate to Market Watch and there's some menus under Market Watch you select the one that says alert. After you select that alerts tab if you want to cancel an alert you just highlight the alert you want to cancel with a right click you can go ahead and you can cancel the alert you can replace the alert you can also adjust notifications if you desire. I hope you enjoyed this video and if so please hit the like button but please keep in mind there is no single indicator or combination of indicators that is going to guarantee trading success. Also keep in mind as Thinkorswim takes on more new accounts there are intermittent data issues with Thinkorswim. That's a known problem. Uh, sometimes these alerts uh, will not trigger when the criteria has been met. Sometimes they will trigger late. Uh, in the past few weeks, uh, they've certainly been, from the alerts that I run, they've been running very smoothly. They've been triggering at the optimal time for me to take advantage of those alerts. Take care. Good luck. Hope you make a lot of money.